Hey everybody, this is Marcus Sheridan from thesalesline.com and in this webinar today, we're going to discuss something that certainly applies to every business in the world and specifically, we're gonna look at three secrets to creating a website that generates an incredible amount of trust. You know, the studies show that today 70% of the buying decision is made, be it B2B or B2C, before anyone actually talks to a salesperson. And that number seems to be growing daily. It's pretty phenomenal, actually. And so if that's the case, and if consumers are generating all their trust before they engage the company, where is it happening? Well, you and I know it's happening on the website. But the question is, what takes one website from being just average to being extraordinary? What makes it become so trust-inducing that when the prospect comes to you, that they want to do business with you and nobody else? Well, Obviously, there's a lot of factors, but we're going to look at three specific ones in this short webinar today, and there's a good chance at least two out of the three, maybe three out of the three, you have not done on your website. Now, I'm going to show you from my website today. I'm going to show you live here, so I'm going to jump out of this and specifically show you my site, which is called thesalesline.com, and so everything that I show you here, you can verify or you can look at online for yourself. So the first section of your site that you should add that I can promise you your competitors have not put on their site but is incredibly trust-inducing is a section that says who were not a good fit for. Every company on their website likes to talk about what they do. They like to type, talk about what they are. But have you ever considered having a section that says we're probably not a good fit for you if? I can promise you if you do this, it's going to have dramatic results. This is one of our highest converting pages at the sales line. Now at the sales line, we are a sales and marketing coaching and consulting company, but we talk about what we're not a good fit for, and if you know what that is, that is, that is uh, oil and water. And so we literally list out who we're not a good fit for. Let me give an example of what I'm talking about. Right? So, even though we're a marketing company, we understand that we're not certain things. So for example, we say we're not a good fit for your company slash organization if, and then we go on to say things like, you're looking to outsource 100% of your marketing. Now why do we say that? Well, at the sales line, we help our clients produce content. We don't produce it for them. Most agencies produce it for them. Some people, when they read this, they really like that. Some do not. But the great thing is, when they read this, they know immediately, they self-qualify, and now when they contact us, when they fill out that contact form, it's a much higher chance that we're going to be a better fit than having a sales conversation where they say, hmm, I don't think these guys are a good fit, or we realize they're not a good fit for us. Let me give you another example of what I'm talking about. We say here on number two that you're looking for someone to run your social media accounts. Well, we don't specialize in doing someone's Twitter account at the sales line. And so because we know what we are and what we're not, we come right out and say, if you're looking for someone to run your social media accounts for you, then we're probably not the best fit for you. I can tell you that most companies don't do this. I can also tell you that this is one of the highest lead converting pages on our website. Let me show you another business of ours that does this really well and another example of what we're, who we're not a good fit for. Well, at my site, River Pools, we, of course, install fiberglass swimming pools. And people are constantly asking us, well, how does a fiberglass pool compare to a concrete pool or a vinyl liner pool? Well, the fact is most companies, when they're comparing themselves to other options, they're not very honest. It's critical that you do this in various degrees or varying degrees on your website. So in this article here on River Pools, we say, hey, a fiberglass pool is not for everybody. In fact, a vinyl or concrete might be the better option. And then we spell out what would make a fiberglass pool a good and a bad option for someone that's researching a swimming pool. Once again, this is a highly, highly converting page of our website. So moral of the story, number one, 
if you don't have a section of your site that says who you are but also what you're not, please add it right away. It can have incredible results. I can promise you that. Let's look at another section that's really, really powerful. Number two, problems we solve. When someone comes to your website, are they coming there because they're interested in their questions, their problems, their issues, or are they more interested in reading about you? Well, as you might imagine, they're clearly more interested in themselves, in their problems, in their questions. And because of that, you need to form language around those problems and the way that they would say it. So on the sales line, once again, we have a section, one of the highest viewed sections of our site, which is called Problems We Solve. How does it work? Well, if you click on the Problems We Solve page, it takes them down to a section that is essentially statements exactly as one of our prospects would make them. So for example here, somebody says, I'm frustrated with my SEO firm and their poor results. That's a statement that people make to us all the time. I want you to think about the statements, the problem statements that your prospects make to you all the time. Write each one of those down. Pick the top 10 or 15. Once you do that, you can form out your problems we saw page. Once you've listed those problems, now you go ahead and you produce a page regarding each one of those. So for example, this one here, I can't get buy-in from my team for content marketing. You click on the page and you can find a page where you can get content marketing buy-in and we talk about how we offer that thing. This is how it works again and again on the sales line. In each one of those pages, you can see that there is a problem and then an article expressing how to solve that problem. Brainstorm that, form that section of your website, and I promise you it's going to generate sales. And not only is it good for the searcher in the way that they would think it, feel it, and say it, but it's also great for search engines because each one of these phrases, if you know anything about SEO, is a long tail phrase. It's a long tail keyword phrase that somebody might search online and it gives you the highest probability of showing up for it as well in search engine results pages. So the first one was have a section on your site that talks about what you're not. Number two, to have a section on your website that specifically talks about the problems you solve in the way that the prospect or the customer would state the problem. And then the third section and one that I just love talking about has to do with money or cost. Fact is, over 90% of businesses are afraid to talk about how much their stuff costs. That's a crying shame because it's one of the first questions that prospects and customers always have. Let me show you one of our clients here at the sales line. This is a great company. They're called Savvy Apps. And of course, what they do is they do apps, they do web app development. And if you go to their homepage, one of their first main elements that you can see is what does an app cost? They understand that people ask this question. And despite the fact that they are a high-end web app development company and most of theirs are six figures, if you go here, you can truly read a great article that talks about what an app is and it explains it well. And so if you get to that page of the website and you read all about it, you can see a long explanation. And here's what's cool. It's not short at all. It really, really dives into it for you and gives an outstanding explanation as to what they can expect. And because of that, this, once again, is one of the highest viewed pages of their site. You can see it gets a monstrous amount of social shares. It does very, very well. This is a B2B company. Once again, if we went back to, say, our site like the sales line, we can see some of our highest pages in terms of views and conversions, other than the ones that we've talked about, are pages like, how much does a content marketing consultant or agency cost? Once again, we address it on there, we talk about the industry, and then we talk about what we charge as a company. We do the exact same thing with our Riverpool site. 
when we go, if you're on our home page and you're wanting to know how much a pool is, it's very simple to find out how much it is. As soon as somebody gets started with Pool 101, they can go down in the first question if they're looking for the basic essentials of how, how or if they're trying to buy a fiberglass swimming pool, the first one they read is, how much do in-ground pools cost? And it goes into quite a bit of detail. And you see other cost articles. It's amazing how much revenue, how much traffic and leads these articles have generated for river pools. In fact, we've calculated on cost articles alone because of advanced anal analytics we've been able to generate over $3 million in sales from the River Pool site. This isn't specific, though, to pools or to marketing services or to app development. This is a principle of, are you willing to give consumers what you want? Are you trying to become the voice of trust in their space? And if you're willing to address that major topic and truly teach them what they can expect as they start to do their research, you will generate more trust, you'll certainly generate more traffic, more leads, and ultimately more sales. And that's what it's all about. So I'm going to just give one final review here, my friends, in this short little webinar. The first thing that you've got to have is a what we're not page for your website. The second thing is talk about the problems that you solved, specifically just as the prospect or the customer would say them. And then finally, talk about cost, talk about pricing explain how much it is in the industry, and then explain how much you charge. You don't have to put a price list, my friends, but you do need to be willing to address the question. And if you do this, as I stated earlier, you are going to become the voice of your industry. You're going to, in, you're going to engender incredible amounts of trust, and you're going to get the results that you're looking for. I am Marcus Sheridan from thesalesline.com. Thank you very much.